All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed weekend as we thank the Most High Yah for so much. My title now says, Pagan Name Days of the Week. Um, I want to do this video response back to you, um, Mr. Santile. Um, great email about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and um, Sunday. Um, if I, if you ever seen the video I did called This Is Satan's Calendar by JT, and I did another video called uh, JT Talks About the Gregorian Calendar, and then I think I did a third video called You Gotta Be Crazy If You Think the Most High Is Operating on This Man Made Calendar. Uh, the reason why I want to say that, friends, because if you see those videos there about the calendar, then this video right here is going to make more sense to you. Um, we know that the Bible calls Satan the God of this world, but he's not the God of the Most High Yacht system. Um, and we must understand that if you can't separate those two and see the difference, it's going to be really hard to understand in this life um, about what's really going on. Because especially if you don't know the beginning, how you going to know the end? You know, if you don't know where you came from, how you going to know where you're going? So I want to say that first. Now, you all the time hear me say, we have to learn the most highest timetable. The most highest time don't add up with what we see. And when you go to Genesis 1 and 5, it, it explains it all. Because what you think is really 24 hours, and then you look at the most highest time, it's not what you think it is. Because the most highest time is totally different than what we see on this satanic calendar, I like to say. We know that the most high love symbols. Uh, we could say metaphors, parables. Now, when you study, you'll see that the Babylonians, they mark the time with lunar months, you know. Now, most of these days of the weeks are named after pagan gods. A lot of people don't teach this. They are. That's why the Most High is so set apart from this. The Most High didn't use these names that you see in this world because they are compared to other gods. That's why Israel wasn't looking at no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, just to teach this. Now, let's break this down. Uh, Monday. Now, when you study, you'll see that Monday was, was the name which was named for the moon. So in so many words, they try to use the most high creation, but then they twitch it, switch it, we, we, we could say, to make it fit they gods, you know. So money, which was named for the moon, that's what that's where you get money from. It could also be translated as moon's day. Then you see Tuesday. Tuesday is the first to be named after a god. It was named for Tiu or Twia, some may pronounce it, a lesser known god of war. That's where you get Tuesday from. And then you got Wednesday. Wednesday can be translated as Wooden's Day. Wooden, W-O-D-E-N, associated with what? The Norse god, Odin, or some may pronounce it Odin, which was the chief god and the leader of the wild hunt in the Anglo-Saxon mythology. Woden means violently insane headship. That's where you get that from. So then you see Thursday. Thursday... It's one of the greatest, um, well, let me say this. Thursday is one of the easiest days to translate, meaning Thor's day, named for who? The Norse god of thunder and lightning. Thursday is also associated with Jupiter in Latin, Dias, Jovas. And then you see Zeus in Greek. That's why when you see these movies, when you see movies called Thor and you see that all this Greek mythology and everything that you see, that's those other gods. That's why the Most High said there shouldn't be no other gods before him. He's the only true Most High Yah. I am the I am, as he told Moses. I am the only true Father. Now, but you got all these little G gods, all these other, these other little gods that can break, that can die, that can fall over and crack. There is nothing more powerful and holy than the true most high. Yahuwah, some may say. Then you see Friday. Friday is associated with Freya, which is what? The Norse goddess of love, marriage, and fertility. When you look at that, 
And then you start talking about something like Easter. So has nothing to do with the most high. Fertility God, goddesses. What they did was parted and, 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 and switched wives and husbands and had all kind of sexual orgies. This is stuff they don't teach you. But this is the same thing they want to compare your savior with. And then start hiding Easter eggs and having Easter egg hunts in the churches, outside on the grass. It has nothing to do with the most high. It's tied in with paganism. Let's show you why Christianity loves paganism. I hate to say it like that. They love to do what the pagans do, but when you tell them why they're in error, they got a problem with you. So when you see Saturday, Saturday in English derives from Saturn's day. Saturn was a, a Roman god and over different periods of time associated with plenty of wealth and time. And then you oftentimes see what? Sunday. Is Sun's day. S U N. Notice the word sun is in day. Sunday. Sun worship. Who what did they do? They was all worshiping the sun back then. And then look at what they do on what is that? Easter they have a sunrise service. A lot of people just doing a lot of stuff. They don't even understand what they're doing and don't know why they're doing. It. Because well, it was tradition. Man, you better kill tradition. Traditions of men makes the word of the most high void. That's why. They once again they was worshiping the sun. They was worshiping the S U N, but they wasn't worshiping the S O N. You see what I'm saying? Now look at this eclipse that just happened this year. Everybody's attention was on the sun, S U N, but wasn't nobody really talking about the S O N. Wasn't nobody talking about the creation, the creator, I mean. They was more focused on the creation, but not the creator, which is the most high Yah. Most people don't know that these days, these these names of the of, of the week are pagan. Once again, astrologers assign each day of the week the name of a god in a culture where days were consumed by religion. Once again, that's why. Once again, you shouldn't. Care. I, I, I mean, I'm gonna just speak for myself. I don't care nothing for religion. I just really don't. Never have. Never will, y'all. Religion was created by who? You see what I'm saying? Designed by who? So those Rom them Romans, once again, what they did was adopted the names of the week to fit their own gods. That's what they did, y'all. I want to just talk a little bit about this. So that's my time. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.